There's an undeniable romanticism with hunting that haunts me. A certain mysterious force that calls me to the mountains. I don't know what it is or why. But to be honest, I'm not sure I want to know. It's been there for as long as I can remember. Hunting is not something I do or just something I'm passionate about. It is me. I start my day off each morning and lay my head to rest each night as a hunter. I love my wife and children as a hunter. When I walk down the street, go to the market, drive my truck, it's as a hunter. I don't know how to put into words how I see the world or how I experience life, but I know it's through the eyes of a hunter. Yeah, son. Ibex and Barbary sheep. We got, we got Ibex and Barbary sheep, bro. We just got a fucking animal fun. So many things have led me to this place. Though I may not succeed, for the odds are stacked against me, I feel as if I've already won. Well, it's finally here. We're going Ibex hunting. I'm so excited. We're driving down to New Mexico right now. Got the boys with me, Tanner and Levi. And, uh, you know, how this whole thing came about was on a chance encounter with uh, Dennis Kaufman of Kiowa Hunting. Uh, I helped him and a youth hunter out, pack out a bull when I was hunting elk down there. And he told me, he's like, you know, if you ever need help on a hunt, let me know, I'll help you out. Well, I've never drawn another tag in New Mexico <laughs> in the last 10 years, but him and I stayed in contact and he, he's the one who told me about Ibex, I had no clue about him and, uh, and how he got it for him. So I've been putting in for the last nine, 10 years and finally drew my tag and he's gonna repay the favor right now and help us out on this hunt. I'm excited, I can't wait to get down there. The Rock has been calling my name all year long since I found out that I, that I drew this tag. Anyone who's ever adored the rock, as it is so accurately named, knows that it takes a team to be successful. And unlike most spot and stalk hunts where you can check the wind, plan a route, and try to execute that plan, here it's just different. You can't play the wind. The wind plays you. The terrain plays mind games with you. You pick a route only to find yourself at an impasse. And the Ibex, it's like no other animal I've ever hunted before. Their athleticism and sixth sense of spatial awareness is unmatched. It's like God took this, the caginess of a coos deer, gave him the eyes of a pronghorn, the sense of smell of a bear, and put it into a lighter, faster, more agile mountain goat, and dropped him into a snake-infested, jagged, unforgiven rock of death. Two nannies right there, down at the bottom of the tree. So each stalk is a strategic game of what ifs. A chess match of, if I make this move, what will the potential outcomes be? Always having to think ahead always looking at it from 20 different angles. I need to draw this as a rifle tag. <laughs> I'm giving up archery forever.
I didn't think it was going to be this hard. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to quit. Well, Tanner just uh, sent me a, a picture on my phone of where we're at and where the billy's at. He's slowly feeding and working his way down. We're gonna see if we can get in front of him right now. Hopefully we can make this happen. Him. Looks like a good hit. Keep watching. He's coming back towards you. Copy that we hit. Oh man, that's good. There's blood all the way up to here and he broke off the, uh, there's blood on the wall. Blood all here, blood here, splatter here, 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 here. I think I got him square in the shoulder because it sheared it off. which may or may not be a good thing. I see little bubbles on here. There's little dry bubbles. Oh, there's blood all up here. Please God. There's blood, there's blood all the way over here and there's blood all the way over there, so he's spraying. Way to go! 
Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. I was crying inside. I was crying inside. When I saw that when I saw that arrow kick out, I was like, oh my god, I hit him square in the shoulder. Oh. Thank you. Oh my God. This is 10 years, 10 years of dreaming, hoping, praying, months and months of practice. And it all came together. I got, I mean, I, I couldn't have done it without my friends. I mean, lucky for me, I got friends in high places. <laughs> um, you know, the guys over at Kiowa, you know, they, they've been helping me out. They had other, they had other hunters here, but they, you know, they're spotting for me down here. And we had Richard come out with us a couple days and Lance helped us out a little bit today when we were, when we were looking at the, looking for the other Billy. And, you know, we, no sooner did we give up. I mean, we gave up, you know, I don't know, 15 minutes prior to, and we get a phone call, um, a radio call over and say, hey, there's, a, you know, Billy working our, its way to the north end, and it's kind of around the same level as you guys. We're going to lose sight of it, but he's working your way. We kind of guessed, <laughs> got into position, and, and here he is, man. Look at that. He's got a nice curl. He's just starting to turn white too. He's still a little tan, but now we just gotta get him out of here. Let's a shot. Oh yeah, right in the bread basket. 75 yards. Like I said, it takes a team. I had some of my closest friends, some new and some old, and I don't think I could have done it without them. Levi, Tanner, Dennis, Tim, the boys at Kiowa Hunting, and all the other people who supported me along the way, especially my wife and kids. And in the end, life takes a team, and I wouldn't have it any other way.